to what do you ascribe that, that big move we had last? What, what changed? Well, I think when we look at the tone that had characterized markets really over the last few weeks leading up to last week, it was one of increasing pessimism. I think the Fed's statement, Chairman Powell coming out and saying, look, we're watching this closely and we're willing to be flexible, uh, really shifted risk sentiment last week in markets. But, but should it? I mean, if the Fed is cutting rates, normally they would cut rates because they're afraid of a slowdown or they're worried about a lack of inflation. A rate cut is not necessarily supposed to be a good thing. Seems like it's become that, I guess. You're right. I think when we look at a rate cut historically, that hasn't always been a good sign for the health of the U.S. economy. In this case, though, this looks like the Fed stepping in to help with what looks like trade tensions really starting to weigh on economic activity and overall sentiment in the U.S. So I think this is Chairman Powell saying we're going to be responsive and we're here for the U.S. economy, particularly as inflation has remained low. You know, it's amazing. December, we collapse. January, we come back. We have a good year. May, we, we don't collapse, but we fell pretty heartily. Now, June, we appear to be coming back. Why the volatility? Well, it's got to be frustrating and difficult to manage through. Absolutely. Uh, I think when you look at historical returns in market periods, I think one of the worst periods is uncertainty, right? So when we think about good outcomes, bad outcomes, or uncertain outcomes, one of the things that's weighed on sentiment and probably contributed to this volatility is a little bit of the seesaw around what are some of the policy stances of uh, the U.S. around trade particularly. So I think that that's certainly contributed to a lot of that volatility and why it's been a little bit of a risk-on, risk-off environment over the past few So months. what do we do now? Well, when we think about our positioning going forward into the rest of the year, I think it's, it's still largely the same as where we are when we started the year, which is going where the growth is, focusing on... Where is that? In general, still on the growth side, if you're looking at growth value from a style standpoint, looking outside, particularly in the emerging markets, from a regional standpoint, as we think about where the best growth opportunities are, even amid some of this uncertainty. Is emerging markets a better deal than the United States? Right now, we still think so. When you look at emerging markets as a, from a valuation standpoint or from now a possibility of a dollar uh, here in the U.S. either stable or even weakening, uh, given these lower rates that we've seen over the past week, this is still one of the better plays out there. For All us. right, Timothy Horsberg.